Hello Natural Beauties, welcome to my channel. My name is Nat and today we're going to do something a little bit different for my channel. Um, as a lot of you know, I live in Texas and um, so many of you are so sweet when y'all see like storms on the news and stuff. Y'all really just kind of like flood my DMs and you're like, oh I hope y'all are okay, you know, be safe, be prepared. And I thought that um, I would share with y'all my little stockpile because I did grow up in Texas, my boyfriend as well. And so we were brought up learning to, um, you know, save and plan for hurricanes and floods because that is what, you know, we are prone to here in our region. And um, in addition to that, we have not only stashed and stored up for that, but also because of the virus that's going around. So um, it's me and my boyfriend, and I do have a son, but he tends to stay at his dad sometimes. He's an adult. He's 21. And, um, and then we both have our moms, and they don't stay with us, but we do like to have a little bit extra, um, you know, to be able to give to them and, you know, kind of build up a little stockpile for them as well. And then we have lots of animals. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just give you a little insight into what I have, you know, in case of an emergency, in case of power outage, or, you know, for whatever reason, we're not comfortable going out to the grocery stores, or, um, you know, if we get, like, stuck in a flood or hurricane or something. So um, we'll go ahead and go through that. I will let you know, I'm not going to show you our water um, stockpile, but we do have uh, four cases of water, plus some, like, um, three-gallon jugs. And we do try to keep, like, one gallon per person per day. And I know that's kind of hard, but we also have a lot of animals. So I'm not going to show you that, and I'm not going to show you our paper towels. But otherwise, if you're interested, let's go be nosy. All right, so here is our first little thing. This is just some toilet paper, and, you know, we got to have that on board just in case. And please don't judge me, y'all. If you're going to judge me, judge me kindly, um, because this isn't exactly, like, super organized. But uh, let's go. All right, so right here we have some hand uh, soap, and this is from Sam's. It's this big, giant, like, two-pack right there. And um, then right here we have some sanitizer. We also have some bleach, but that's up by our laundry. So we have some spam right here. And then we did get this because we recently had a brain-eating amoeba in our water, y'all. I... I kid you not, in uh, the county that I live in, in Texas. So we thought it might be smart to get this uh, water filtration system. Like I said, um, this would be for my son, so that's why I only got one. And then I got a two-pack here for me and my boyfriend. And it's supposed to, you can see the little, um, let's see if you can get a better view of it. Anyways, that's the filtration device, and it's supposed to filter up to a hundred thousand um, gallons of water and I just thought that that might be a really good idea you know something that we could kind of grab and go worst case scenario put on a water bottle or you know use it as a straw so and then we also have some NyQuil here that's a three pack um, also some hauls and these are the uh, honey ones I was kind of sad because we didn't find the uh, sugar-free ones but you know beggars can't be choosers I guess and then you can see we have some maruchan back there just because it's such a great, um, you know, item to store. And then also here we have this first aid survival um, kit and it's a dry bag. So, you know, it's uh, nothing in here will get wet and you can see um, everything that it has in it. I'm just going to give you a quick look right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But this was um, $20 on sale at Academy. The only thing this doesn't have is, like I said, we live in Texas. Uh, we need a snake kit, a snake bite kit, because we do have rattlesnakes and cottonmouths and stuff. But another uh, great just grab-and-go kind of survival thing. And then we have some Pringles back there, the mega ones. He likes sour cream and onion. I got those cheddar some garlic in the back this is mine y'all i love spaghettios with meatballs we got some chili some ranch style beans um a variety of tomatoes so like petite diced oh i guess oh those have uh green chiles those are just regular and then those have uh, chili ready 
And then we have some chicken breast, some more chili back there. Oh, look, I got some sardines. We actually like sardines, so we can get down with some mustard or some, yeah, some hot sauce. And then we have this chicken breast, some um, strawberry jam, and then some tuna. We are going to move over to the next little drawer that we have here. And we have some wine. We also have a whole bunch of different beans. So small red beans, because I like to make red beans and rice. Pinto beans, I like um, peas, so you know, that's nice. And then some rice. And then we have this big old thing of chocolate chips, so I can, um, you know, bake and stuff. And then this here was on sale, so I just bought some seasoning because it was on clearance. And then I have some sugar, some flour, which has already been put in the freezer twice and taken out to kill anything in it and help it store better. Then you see I got some Stella Rosa black wine. And then some uh, carnation milk and a little candle. So that is kind of what I lack, like um, flashlights, but we do have like the uh, chargers on the go where we can charge our phone and stuff. But, you know, just our little prepared corner. Oh, laundry's ready. So this is what we have. So thank you to all of you who worry about our safety and, um, you know, are concerned about us when we are in the face of storms and stuff. But I want you to know that we are a little bit prepared. Thank you all for joining me. Just know that I am sending you positivity, and I hope you're doing what you love. Bye, y'all.